Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is the DNN tip of the week. And today I want to talk about the brand new DNN 9.2, which was released on March 23rd, 2018. And I want to highlight the new features, the improvements, the fixes, the four key points that I think, in my opinion, are the highlights for this release. So I hope that you enjoy this review. But before I talk to you about the DNN tip of the week, I would like to talk about a new support plan that we have just launched on DeskPol. At DeskPol, we help you with your DNN website, we help you to maintain, to fix bugs, to add content, we help you to upgrade, we help you to do a bunch of things on your DNN website. DeskPol 1 is a plan, a new plan geared towards the person who needs help with DNN. Whether you have one DNN site, two DNN sites, 10 DNN sites, 1,000 DNN sites, it doesn't matter. Because now we are supporting you, the individual, the person, not the site. Of course, we will help you to fix your site, but we are helping you. If you want more information about what the plan covers, what it doesn't cover, all the details, you can go to deskpal.1. If you want to reach out to me personally, so you can book a time, you can book an appointment, and you can ask me questions, you can ask me anything, maybe about DeskPol, maybe about DeskPol1. Just send me an email to the address below and we can talk. That's it, enjoy the tip of the week. Okay, so this is a brand new DNN 9.2 website running from my local environment. I'm gonna focus on four points, four features, four improvements that were done, that can be seen from the user interface of the new DNN 9.2. The first one I want to bring to your attention is the pages, the pages feature. So if you go to content pages, you're gonna see a brand new UI control to manage pages, to manage the page experience. The previous DNN 9 page management experience was very clunky, and this one here is quite clear, quite straightforward, very simple UI. I'm not gonna go through each and every single feature here, but in general, you have a tree view, a new experience with a tree view on the left-hand side. You have three dots that you can see actions that can be taken related to the current page. You can click on the narrow page, you can see the actions there. You can add a new page under that page. You can view this page, you can edit this page here. So the site changes into edit mode on that page. I'll go back there. And you can also duplicate the page. At the top, you have save the current page as a template. You can add multiple pages at once, or you can add a single page. There's not much drag and drop happening on the left hand side. However, you can drag a page and move it to a different place. Now, this is it about the pages new user interface. The second one, the second feature that I want to bring to your attention is prompts. Prompt, I've mentioned in a few videos already, but I'm gonna mention on this one. That's the first release of DNN that comes with prompt. Prompt is a command line admin interface to manage DNN. If you type in help, you're gonna see the list of commands that you can execute on your DNN website and it's broken down by different categories like general commands, host commands. It shows what the command does, and if you click in that particular command, it will add that command to the command line, and if you hit enter, you're gonna get details about that particular command. Now, the idea here is not to go deep into prompt. I will save that for a future tip. So that's the second one. Second one is prompt, the new command line administrative tool of DNN 9.2. The third one is about connectors. And you can see that new menu under settings, connectors. This is a way that you can connect to external services. The one that comes by default is Azure. So you can connect to Azure from here. However, something is not completely clear yet as to where this connector is being used. My assumption, my guess is that it will be used under the site assets to store files, but that is not completely clear yet because if you go to edit the asset manager and if you go to manage folder types, add new type, 
Here, it also has Azure folder provider and it asks for account name and account key again. So I'm not sure how this relates to the connectors. I know that the long-term plan for DNN is to get rid of this asset manager and use a brand new one incorporated into the persona bar. So maybe it's for that purpose and this will be eventually discontinued. But again, that's here. That's me here just guessing. The fourth item I want to bring to your attention is about user search. There's not much to be seen here from from the UI, there's no change, there are no changes there. But if you go to manage users, this search, the user search is behaving way, way better than it was behaving before. Now you are able to search by, by first name, last name, email address, display name. It's searching through all main fields. And this was a bit buggy before on the earlier versions of DNN 9. We have plenty of clients complaining about the limitations with the user search on DNN 9 earlier versions. And I think that this will really work quite well now. Quick tip here is that if you want to do partial search, let's say I have my name there as one of the users. I was testing that. If I put SON, it won't come up with anything. But if I add a percentage sign at the beginning of my search criteria, it will bring partial results as well. To me, this is a big, big improvement. It's a fix. Now, if you want to get all the nitty gritty details about what has been released on DNN 9.2, you can go to the release page, scroll down, and you're going to see a bunch of release notes with the brand new features, the improvements, the frameworks, the, the libraries that were discontinued. Everything is here. And there is also a blog post put together by Ash Versad from DNN Corp that goes into details as well. But this is it, the four key improvements, new features of DNN 9.2 from a user standpoint. Cheers and bye. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.